Finally, a little bit of good news for Social Security. Got a lot of important updates to share with you. A new bill has just passed in Congress. I'll let you know what that bill is. It barely passed, by the way. Also, when it comes to Social Security increases, here are the latest headlines we're seeing. Projected Social Security raise gets a tiny bump after today's CPI data. And then also Social Security COLA 2024 estimates rose in an e unexpected twist. Here's why. So it looks like Social Security getting a bigger increase than expected. I'll give you the details on that. Also, debates are heating up in Congress when it comes to Social Security, more specifically protecting Social Security recipients. Take a look at this. An important piece of legislation affirming the House's commitment to protecting Social Security and Medicare. I'll play you the full clip of what he said and what is going on with Social Security. I'll give you the latest details and some other important updates as well. If you appreciate the regular updates with Social Security, hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more updates on increases, decreases, proposals, anything related to Social Security. Hit the like button and subscribe button down below. All right, so... House narrowly passes defense policy bill 2019 to 2010, setting up clashes with Senate Democrats. So conservative lawmakers successfully added numerous riders in the final legislation, uh, sinking most Democratic support. So this comes with the social, or uh, sorry, not the social security, the defense bill, uh, which just passed 219 to 210, mainly Republicans passing this. Now, what does this mean moving forward? Well, looks like it's probably not going to get Democrat support and it's not going to get the president's support either. So GOP-backed defense bill won't pass national security advisor says, saying this legislation is never getting to the president's desk, according to Jake Sullivan. So this could have been a waste of time. Instead of debating this they could have been debating social security as a lot of news is coming out and there actually have been some debates when it comes to social security, but not enough action. So as the social security reform debate heats up on Capitol Hill, leaders weigh if raising taxes is the answer. Uh, if you ask 99% of the country, most of them are going to say raise the taxes on the wealthy. Uh, if you ask the 1% of the country, they're going to say, no, that's a bad idea. Well, interestingly enough, Congress members are making $174,000 a year. Uh, I wouldn't say they're part of the poor class, part of the Social Security recipients struggling to pay their bills. They're on the opposite side of the spectrum. Uh, if only they spent a month living on Social Security wages, then they might have a different perspective on Social Security. But the basically what's going on here, proposals to increase levies on high earners have sparked debate among lawmakers and experts as to whether those changes would would be fair. So who would it be unfair to? The people who have multiple houses, boats, yachts, uh, never have to worry about food? Is it unfair to them to pay a little more in taxes to help out Social Security recipients? Uh, let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments below if you agree or disagree. So basically, when it comes to Social Security, uh, they're talking about different ideas in Congress. I'm going to play that video clip in a moment. But first, projected Social Security raise gets a tiny bump after today's CPI data. Also, we're seeing here Social Security COLA 2024 estimates rose in unexpected twist. Here's why. So, looks like the COLA could have gone up a little bit. Uh, annual inflation in June eased to 3%, down from 4% in May, and off of a 40-year high of 9.1% in June of 2022. So, inflation is going down, according to the data. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you feel the ease of inflation? Are things getting a little bit cheaper for you? Food, rent, utilities? Uh, let me know your thoughts if things are getting better or is this mainly affecting a totally different part of society? Let me know your thoughts on that. Uh, also, what it's talking about here is uh, the COLA. Where is it? Okay, COLA is estimated at 3% next year, according to a forecast from the Senior Citizens League. That's much less than four, a four-decade high of 8.7% in 2023, but above last month's estimate for a 2.7% increase for 2024. So basically, saying here, last month it was 2.7%, now it is up to 3%, making small gains here. Uh, but let me know your thoughts. Is this going to affect you positively? 
Let me know your thoughts on that. Uh, when it comes to Social Security debates in Congress, which seems all there is now in Congress is just a bunch of talk, but take a look at what Representative Jamal Bowman has to say about protecting Social Security recipients. Take a look at this. Also, uh, the audio is a little messed up with this clip, but take a look anyway. Gentlemen, recognized. Thank you so much for yielding. Mr. Speaker, if we defeat the previous question, we can bring up H.R.E.S. 178, an important piece of legislation affirming the House's commitment to protecting Social Security and Medicare. Protecting Social Security and Medicare must be a front and center priority of this Congress. We should be doing everything we can and using all of our power to work in a bipartisan way to make sure we protect Social Security and Medicare, as opposed to moving forward aggressively to raise military spending once again, where we already spend more on our military and on our military industrial complex than the next 10 countries combined. The American people need to know the Republican Party is attempting to invest more in war than it is in protecting our seniors. Our seniors, 55 million Americans, have been paying into Social Security and Medicare for 50 years, some of them. And by 2035, 75 million Americans will call themselves seniors. We must protect our seniors. They have paid into our system. We must ensure that they have access to health care, to housing, to money in their pockets, to food on the table. We often, particularly my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, seem to continue to marginalize and neglect the most vulnerable people in our society, our seniors included our children included, those who live in poverty included. I represent New York's 16th Congressional District, one of the most diverse districts in the country. We have urban, suburban, and rural areas. I am constantly in the community talking to my neighbors. Never do I hear the words we should invest more in the military industrial complex than we do in protecting Medicare and Social Security. I never hear those words. And I also want to identify our veterans as another group that Republicans continue to leave behind, another vulnerable group, as not one Republican in the House voted in support of the PACT Act. So thank you so much for yielding me a few minutes. And once again, let us do everything in our power to preserve and protect Medicare and Social Security. Let's not let the Republican Party cut it. Thank you, and I yield back. What are your thoughts? Do you agree, disagree? Let me know down in the comments below. And that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully brighten your day a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hey guys, this, this is the tip of the day. Hi guys, this is Bella. This is the tip of the day. I want to tell you the one thing that you should do. When you, when you do something, when you do something and you don't learn, you will be a better person. If you learn, then you'll grow up and be more better at things that you, that you learn. That's all I want to get the explanation to you. Guys, see you in the next, see you in the next tip of the day. And be safe. See you in the next tip today. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate your support. If you want to know about the $330 increase for SSI and SSDI, I uh, definitely want to click this video right up here as I'll go over the details of that increase for SSI and SSDI. So click that video now and I'll see you in that video. Take care. Be safe. Thank you for watching.